Hi, I'm bringing this uh, edition of Truth in Brief live to you from Nazareth and where I am is actually the precipice, the mountain where they brought the Lord Jesus Christ to throw him over, um, you know, when they rejected him uh, in his own city, in this, in this city of Nazareth. This is Nazareth, this is the modern city uh, and we are privileged to be here uh, in Israel looking at this beautiful place. Now, the, the point I want to share with you from this place is that Jesus was rejected at Nazareth. You remember he stood up in the synagogue here in this city to read and he read from the book of Isaiah, the prophet. And when he finished reading, he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me, you know, to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to bind the brokenhearted and the rest of the things that he said. He was actually waiting to do those things for them. He wanted to heal the sick, to set free all the captives. But of course, they rejected him. They said, is this not Mary's boy, as the Living Bible puts it? And of course, you know, uh, they, they looked down on him and they said, is this not the son of Joseph? Is this not Mary's boy? Is this not the carpenter? He's one of us here. And in rejecting the Lord Jesus, they rejected all the things that he had to do for them. And the Bible says that Jesus couldn't do any mighty works here in his own city. I mean, he came here first of all to bless his people, but he couldn't do any mighty work because of their unbelief and they rejected him. There are a few lessons that are important here, I think. The first one is that rejection by people that are closest to you can be very painful. And I know that some of us have gone through that pain. When you're rejected in your own family, you're rejected in your own uh, country, you're rejected among the people who should accept and celebrate you. But you see, Jesus knew that rejection by people was not equal to rejection by God. People can reject a person that God has accepted. So it's important that you find your value in who you are in Christ, not in people's opinion about you. When they rejected the Lord Jesus here in Galilee, in, in Nazareth, he went other places. He went to Capernaum. He Im impacted other people. He healed the sick, set the captives free, and he still fulfilled his ministry uh, despite rejection here at, Gal at Nazareth. The other thing that we see there is that unbelief can paralyze the power of God in a person's life. Of course, God is almighty, but if we don't believe him for the great things that he wants to do, even Jesus couldn't do any mighty works here in, in Nazareth. And I think that was a very important point. And my hope is that you will learn to trust him and experience the great things he wants to do in your life. God bless you. So this is Nazareth. Um, of course, it's a modern city right now. But back in those days, our tour guide explained that it was uh, somewhere in the valley. It didn't have, you know, water. And they just basically depend on what they collected from the rain. And it was on this mountain here, which is now called Mount Precipice, where they brought the Lord Jesus to throw him down. And then, of course, he um, uh, passed through the midst of them and went away. So, uh, this is Nazareth.